Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Simply Safe. I'll tell you why I'm choosing to do it this way. Simply Safe is effective, highly reliable home security, which is why I trust it right now when I can barely move. I mean, I'll still shoot you, but Simply Safe is going to tell me that you're coming in my house. Simply Safe will protect your home like a pro, even when you get the flu at Shot Show and you feel bad. They have 24-7 monitoring, which is definitely what I need right now, with a three and a half times better response time from police, EMS, or fire. Simply Safe is what they call modern comprehensive. They protect your home on the inside with all these awesome sensors and with a camera where they're monitoring people can look at it and be like, hey, this is what's going on in this guy's house. And they protect you from the outside with the doorbell and outside cameras and stuff. See, on the doorbell, if I'm sitting here, you know, half dead like I have been, and then some person walks up to my house with their bicycle trying to sell me Bibles, I'll see it on my phone, and then I can scream at them from the bed. Go away! Whoa! Experts choose Simply Safe. A bunch of smart fellers said that it's good stuff, and I agree with them. They have fair and honest pricing, 50 cents a day, no contracts. Let me show you my Simply Safe devices. HD camera that uh, glass break sensor, brain, the key pump sensor. Work. They just got this new Simply Safe lock, pretty rad. You can set custom codes for everyone so you can see who comes and goes from your house. You can grant access to anyone from anywhere from your cell phone. You can go boop, beep, boop, boop, and the lock unlocks. Check out simplysafe.com slash donut operator to be safe. Have, yeah, so here's the video. Hello friends, welcome to a video. I crawled my ass out of bed long enough to make this because I thought it was funny and I need to focus on something other than dying from the Kung flu. The official NYPD Facebook page posted this and said this firearm may not look like much, but it is still very dangerous in the wrong hands. Thankfully, our transit officers from District 34 were able to recover it after breaking up a fight near their precinct and place a known gang member who possessed it under arrest. Very dangerous without a hammer <laughs> to strike the bullet and make it shoot out of the gun. It also looks like someone used some JB Weld up here. Dear Smother, the quill has never felt more heavy. I have made the decision to holster my sidearm permanently. I shall battle no more. The decision is difficult, but as the hogs taught me, I must be true to myself. I am coming home to take care for, care for you and the farm. <laughs> Beauregard. <laughs> I wasn't sure how safe I truly felt until I saw this post. Thank God for the brave men and women of the NYPD. The world is a much safer place knowing that there won't be any quick draw duels at high noon. That'll be one less train heist I have to worry about too. Imagine the sort of rampage that violent and deeply troubled in individual could have done if this weapon of war had its hammer to go with it. Drinks and medals all around. It is with great sorrow upon my breast that I must pin this letter. The lawmen of York hath rounded me up and disarmed me of old trusty. It is sadder still that I must now leave Maribel behind to tend our six children on the farm. I go now to the dark cell awaiting the gallows. I have fought the law most grievously. The law won. <laughs> Russell Rusty Smithwick Tenpenny the third. Eight cops and seven archaeologists assisted in the recovery of this firearm. Oh, this is making me feel a whole lot better. I don't care what it looks like. Bottom line, it can still kill an innocent person. So thank you, heroes. But it, it can't. <laughs> oh, my buddy Matt from 2A Cops commented on here. That is a bucket of parts, most notably devoid of a hammer. So no smashy the sparky part that makes the gun go bang bang. This is embarrassing as hell for all of law enforcement. Glad you eight officers prevented that stagecoach robbery at high noon. Basically, you got 4.3 thousand comments ragging on this picture right here. I, it, it, it's hilarious, but but that's not the extent of this video. You guys remember the video I made where the Florida officers confiscated like $17 and a little bit of shake and just like a pipe or something like that? We photoshopped the table off and you guys were absolutely amazing at bringing out the best photoshops of that. You can see that video right here. We did it again. I got on Twitter and I says, contest. NYPD took a trophy pick with an, with an inoperable revolver. How can we not rag on them just a little bit? I have included the original picture and one with the revolver removed. Best Photoshop job wins something. <coughs> we can do this. We can do this. Looks like Donut's going Liam Neeson because the NYPD just took his whole family. Oh no, they did. You took Squirt? Butcher? I have no idea who that dog is. <laughs> <laughs> Jones, Ollie, and John. Good one, good one. I don't know whose dog that is, but good one. Confiscated racist hand sign. R, R, R. Did he just get us all? 
Punch yourselves. All right, they called a furry with an AR. Good job. Blurry Harambe? Should have just shot that one. Looks like a bunch of swagger souls. Took a little train car play set. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry if I don't get that reference. I need to watch more Swagger Souls videos. I'll tell you the reason I haven't watched Swagger Souls videos on stream in a while. And some of you may have heard this that happened. I was on stream a few months ago and someone was like, hey, watch Swagger's newest video. It was the cringiest moments in chat VR. Volume two, I think it was. And I jumped on it within 10 seconds of the video. Someone inside the chat lobby Swagger was in dropped the N-bomb with, with, with a hard R at the end. So... I haven't watched his videos on stream, but I love you, Swag. I miss you. I want to come to Australia and visit you. Oh no, now they took Ollie, Jones, Brandon Herrera, and Squirt. <laughs> Not Brandon Herrera, anything but that. I still have to edit the video where I sang karaoke with Brandon Herrera down in Georgia a few months ago. That man can sing. Someone say pool party at the station. Oh no, look, Beta took our assault weapons. No. Oh, snap. They took our assault microwaves, <laughs> call of Kiwami Japan's knives, and assault beans. What, what would you even do with a plastic fist like that? Come on. Dear God, they've seized themselves. I don't know what that is, but uh, good job. Good job. All right, that's our first phallic object of this contest. I think we had like 12 last time. Ah, uh, <laughs> that a dog with a Hulk fist stuck on its head? Oh, racism. Ah, uh, they must be in England confiscating rocks, papers, and scissors. I can't tell who that is. Is that Prince Andrew? I mean, he needs to be arrested if that is. Gotta catch them all. Ooh, a trebuchet and a cannon. Very good find there, NYPD. Um, Hockey players, Sprite. Uh, it's plush toy and and an old Porsche. Okay, okay. Not going to win, but okay. Damsel rescued from train tracks. Stolen marshals, six shot recovered. January 7th, 1897. Officials say the hunt for dastardly Dan and his stagecoach boys is underway. Wanted dead or alive. That's legit, man. I like that. Oh, we had this one in the last one also. This is always submitted in these type of things. This meme that I have to awkwardly explain to Kaylee every time she sees it. <laughs> the Playmobil set. If you never saw my video on that, an attorney online got really offended by the Playmobil toys. You can see that right here. No! No! Oh, Christ. What the f what the, f what the f did I do? Some Natty Daddies, Copenhagen, an MRE, some sunglasses, and it looks like another phallic object back there. That's two phallic objects for this one. I don't know who's rolling around with this stuff. Oh, oh look, there's pink guy. <laughs> Almost missed it. Oh man, I wish they would have taken this from me in Vegas and I didn't have it now. Oh wait. Oh, you made them all the Asian cop. Oh no. Shrunky. <laughs> all right. Getting the bread. Also must be England. They're confiscating butter knives and sharp butter. I'm pretty sure that that is a My Little Pony toy in a jar of semen. If there ain't no laws when you're drinking claws and they seized the claws, does that mean they're even police now? <laughs> <laughs> look, look, it's the shot computer from uh, Bob shooting it. And look, it's Bob. <laughs> Is that Gaben with the seance going on around him? <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully he's summoning Half-Life 3 because I'm going to die before it comes out at this point. <laughs> the East India Trading Company. Okay, okay. You put a lot of work into that one. YouTube seized all my money. <laughs> no. It's me. <laughs> Woo wee. That is a double sided giant old phallic object there. Does that count as two more or one more? Because there's two sides to it. I say two more. We got four phallic objects in this video now. Oh man, they seized me falling on a backpack full of mayonnaise. Again, must be England. They're seizing Nerf guns. <laughs> Did they bring in Terran Tactical? Rambo says, I'm very proud of these both. They took Antifa and Sean King. What a good day for everyone. Every reasonable person is going to have a great day. Very dangerous stuff right there. Good job, NYPD. Assault chairs. Can't have assault chairs running around on the streets. Justin said he fixed it. Oh, Justin, good job, man. You added a hammer to it. Can't believe they caught the infamous super dildo. There's their fifth phallic object. I'm, I can't show it, but it's got a little cape on it. Again, they keep seizing Jones from me. 
Oh, they took the guacamole. Unfortunately, they couldn't find the owner of the items. All right, we're going to need an APB for a Gordon Freeman white mill early 50s. I'm so glad these are off the street shaking my head. Let's add uh, six, seven, and eight for phallic objects. And these are obviously blurred. I hope I remember to blur them. These are giant rubber horse objects. U.S. police captured a Russian spy. Nice. They captured the bat stew. I'm going to be safe, boys. Uh, let's make that. What were we at? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 phallic objects this video. You can't take Inosuke. Inosuke will take all of you. I don't even know what that's from, but that's funny. A single cigarette. They must have found a 20-year-old smoking it. No, not Baby Yoda. <laughs> oh, no, not surprised Baby Yoda. They got Butcher. No. <laughs> they seized the Florida officers from the last video. Yeah, it looks like they took something important. You're right. They're playing Sovereign Citizen Bingo. Good job, guys. You got a license for that? That spoon does look a little sharp on the end there. They just feasting on the Nerf gun. <laughs> All right. That's that's very creative. Oh, man. There's a lot more than that, but I'm going to go ahead and end this video before I pass out. I gotta, I'm got i going to go back to laying down again and edit this and probably have it up on the channel in a few days. Hopefully, I'll be feeling better then. Until next time, check out my sponsor, Simply Safe. Everyone, please have a fantastic day. Wow.